from Fine Accoutrements, the new DE5 Open Comb Safety Razor. We're going to have a shave with it coming up next. <music> Hi, YouTubers and Wetchavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new safety razor in the shave den, courtesy of the folks at Fine Accoutrements. My thanks to them for passing along the DE5 Open Comb Safety Razor. Really excited to take this one for a test drive and to share it with all of you. And again, thanks to the folks at Fine Accoutrements. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, a viewer named Matt Armstead very, very kindly sent in a review to the Monday Morning Mailbag where he gave us an absolutely beautiful, beautiful review and look at the new DE5 Open Comb Safety Razor from Fine Accoutrements. He gave it top marks. And the folks at Fine Accoutrements very kindly sent along a DE5 to the channel, um, allowing me to share it with all the viewers out there. So here it is right here. I can tell you right now, right off the top, it is an absolutely stunningly, beautifully chromed razor. Just absolutely gorgeous. And the presentation is very, very good. It comes with five feather razor blades. Here is the packaging that it comes in. It is really nice. Makes for a perfect, perfect gift. And as you can see, it slides right out of that sleeve there. Now look at this, a really, really nice touch here. So that kind of slides out of that. And then there's a little door here that opens up to reveal the razor and also the feathered blades on the bottom. So make sure you <laughs> make sure you take note that the feathered blades are on the bottom there. And then all you have to do is pull that out and look at that. Isn't that absolutely stunningly beautiful? Just beautiful heft, really, really nice, nice vintage kind of look to it. Matt had uh, said that it was uh, throw, it reminded him of a, of a razor from the 1940s, 1950s. Boy, he's got that right. And it does have an open comb, and I'll let you get a look at that right there. Uh, a rather different open comb design. We'll talk about that in just a little bit, in just a minute by um, uh, reading some of the information they have on their product page. But it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful uh, three-piece razor. So here's what they have to say on their product page. Uh, and this is available on the uh, Fine Accoutrements website for $50, and it's also available on Amazon.com for a little more. So if you happen to have a gift card or some shopping points, something like that, know that you can get this on Amazon.com as well. Uh, the Fine DE5 Safety Razor with five feather blades. Uh, this is the uh, features of it. 100% solid metal with a stainless steel core. Signature Evolved Open Comb Guard. That's what they're calling that, an Evolved Open Comb Guard. Boy, that promises to give a really, really nice, smooth, mild, yet efficient shave. It includes five feather blades, gleaming electroplated chrome finish, and it really is gleaming. <laughs> beautiful, beautifully, beautifully, beautifully chromed. It does gleam, absolutely. Uh, the length is 3.4 inches or 88 millimeters. The weight is 3.4 ounces or 95.1 grams. Absolutely beautiful. And here's what they have to say about it right here. The fine DE5 safety razor has been meticulously designed for performance, leveraging insights derived from the testing of vintage razors from throughout the 120 year history of disposable blade shaving. Featuring a unique modified open comb guard, all metal construction around a stainless steel core, and an initial supply of world-renowned feather blades, the DE5 restores shaving to better than new condition. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful razor. And it's just an absolutely wonderful, well thought out description of what you're, <laughs> what you would be holding in your hand here. Now, they also have a little bit of a graphic here that I'll show on screen as well. 
where they're talking about the uh, the cap and the base plate. You have a solid stainless steel threads for uh, generational durability. And I remember the folks at Fine had said that the threaded stud is stainless steel. Uh, always true blade alignment bar. Uh, XL bullet pegs for easy assembly. Uh, keyhole receptors for always true cap alignment. Comforting convex comb shape and clog proof ladder channels. Boy, a lot of features built into this razor. It was really, really well engineered and well thought out. No doubt about that. Let me show you what we're talking about here with the cap and the base plate. There is uh, no buffer ring. So if you want to use a buffer ring, I guess you can use one. We're not going to be using one. This is absolutely beautiful, beautifully chromed. And it seems to have kind of a, I would say kind of a bearing right there an O-ring bearing right there on the base plate, as you can see right there. So that's, so I don't think we're going to be using a, 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 a buffering. But here's what we're looking at in the cap. The caps have a, a peg, bullet-shaped pegs, with also some tabs right here. You can see those right there. Can you see those right there? Okay, get some bullet-shaped pegs and also a tab right next to it on either side of that threaded stud. And then here in the base plate, you have a keyhole, a keyhole receptor right here, okay? Can you see that right there? So that the, the, the pegs and the tabs line up perfectly with, <laughs> aligns the, 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 the cap and the base plate perfectly. So you have a combination of a of a, of a peg and a tab going into a hole in a slot. Really, really very, very neat. So we're definitely going to have a, I'm really looking forward to this shave. Absolutely. We're going to have a great shave with this. I'm anticipating a really, really great shave based on what I've read on their product page and also based on the review that viewer Matt Armstead sent along to the Monday morning mailbag. So we are going to be shaving with this. We're going to be using uh, fine uh, bay rum in the 21st century uh, soap base. We're also going to be using my fine lathering bowl. I have some cold water in it right now. You know, I can dump the cold water out and I can show it to you right here. There it is right there. All right, this was also sent to the channel by the folks at Fine Accoutrements. Thanks to them again. Uh, we're doing a cold water shave because we are in, a, in the midst of a little bit of a heat wave here in Northeast Ohio. And we're going to finish it off with the, um, the Phoenix Shaving uh, Solid Allen Block and uh, also some fine accoutrements bay rum aftershave splash. Uh, and we are gonna be using the uh, feather blades right here that came with the razor. So we're gonna be opening these up, we're gonna be loading the blade, and we're gonna be getting to the shave. So you know what, let's do that right now. Let's open these blades up and uh, see if I can't get that open there. You know what, I got a little bit of a razor blade just kind of hanging here on a magnet, and we're just gonna go ahead and just do that. And I'll probably have to get rid of that blade now. Having cut that plastic, I don't know if it's going to be good for a shave again, but we'll get rid of that plastic here. We'll just toss this off of the back there. And these are feather, high stainless, double edge blades. Look at, oh yeah, look, it came right out. How about that? We're all set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely fantastic, fantastic addition to the razor, these feather blades. Uh, these are definitely top notch. So let's get this open here and let's load the uh, razor and then we can do our pre-shave. I'm also going to use the uh, the Cube 2.0 for my pre-shave wash and pre-shave uh, lather. And then we'll fill the lather in the bowl and we will uh, go ahead and um, have a shave. And that 21st century soap base is very, very good. Okay, so there's the handle there. I'm just going to set that down there like that. We're going to get the uh, the cap and the base plate there. So there is the uh, here's the feather blade right here, okay, and that's going to sit right in there like that. Wow, that just that seated so nicely. Wow, and boy, the alignment is really really terrific. That's beautiful. That is really nice. Everything just went together like hand and glove, no problem at all. And the blade is seated correctly. Absolutely beautiful. The blade alignment and balance, absolutely spot on. The end tabs are just exposed a little bit, as you can see, but not a deal breaker. I don't believe they're going to get in the way at all. And uh, yeah, that looks, that looks absolutely fantastic. 
Wow, so we're all set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the face. We're going to do our pre-shave. We're going to build our lather. We're going to get to our shave. All right, forgot to mention we're also going to be using the Simpsons T3 Trafalgar uh, shaving brush with the ebony handle. This was very kindly sent to the channel by viewer Mark Bagwell. Thank you again, Mark. So we're going to let that soak up a little bit like that. And while that's soaking, let me just kind of clear the deck here a little bit. Hang on a minute. <laughs> let me get some of this packaging out of the way. Let me move my tablet out of the way. And uh, let me get a little bit of water, just a little bit of cool water on top of the... I'm going to just go right from the... Um, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to scoop out. I'm going to scoop out and put it right into the bowl. There was some cool water already in there, so the bowl is nice and cool. So we're going to get about that much there. And I am just going to just press that into the bowl and just get that nicely pressed into the bowl and I'm gonna just okay I'm just press I'm just pressing it in so that there we go and that's nice and cool so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna cap this up and we're gonna set this aside out of the way and we're gonna get my brush right here okay bring that out a little bit Okay, so here is my uh, fine accoutrements lathering bowl with the uh, shave soap, the bay rum shave soap, the fine accoutrements bay rum shave soap in there, and a little bit of water, and we're going to go ahead and just whip that up. And look at that already. Look at how that's already whipping up into a beautiful lather. That's absolutely marvelous. Look at that. Yeah, I spread that shave soap out a little bit. And it really is very, very nice. It's like a crope. It's not hard. It's not like a shave cream. It's right in between. And it makes an absolutely wonderful, wonderful lather. And you can see right there how quickly this lather is being generated from that little bit of shave soap that I'm using. And again, this is just an absolutely well-designed and very, very comfortable lathering bowl. Fits really well in the hand. My thumb fits right through it. And it does have a brush rest right there that we'll be taking advantage of because the brush will go right there like that as you can see and you can see I got a, <laughs> I already have a lot of lather here I'm really looking forward to the shape I have a day and a half worth of uh, beard growth here and pay no attention to this little guy right there that was something from a head shave a little bit of a slip up so maybe if I had used the uh, the DE5 it wouldn't have happened huh I'm going to use it for a head shave. Based on what I'm anticipating with this shave, I am going to use it for a head shave. I'm sure it's going to do an absolutely spectacular job. And look at this. Boom! Lather! Wow! <laughs> absolutely beautiful, beautiful lather and a wonderful, wonderful bay rum scent. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, this is going to go on the brush list as I showed you right there. And I'm going to wet the face and we're going to do the pre-shave with the Cube 2.0 and kind of build that into a little bit of a pre-shave lather. One splash, good enough. And I'm telling you, we are experiencing a heat wave. We've got temperatures in the in the high 80s, low 90s, and uh, absolutely calls for a cold water shave. Okay, so there we go. Marvelous. All right. Okay, here we go. We're going to paint this on. Look at that lather. Look at how wonderful that lather. This 21st century soap base is marvelous. It really is terrific. And we have got a lot of lather here from that little bit of a scoop of shave soap. And you can see I've been using it. I like it a lot.
look at that. Really a beautiful, beautiful, creamy, yogurty coating. Very, very, just nice and creamy. Has some nice thickness and consistency to it. And uh, you know, it's going to offer a lot of protection. Feels great on the skin. Just really wonderful. I'm going to wet this under some cold water. It's going to run some cold water underneath it. And maybe cool the razor down a little bit. To add to this uh, cold water shave I'm having. And everything is nicely snugged. Everything is all set, all snugged up. Absolutely beautiful. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That is beautifully smooth and mild. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, I would say this is a great razor for beginners and also for seasoned wet shaving veterans out there because you're going to love this. This is just has a wonderful, wonderful, smooth, mild, yet efficient quality to it. It really, really does. Boy, that is, that is really terrific. <laughs> Check out the profile of that razor head. And now you'll see why I'm getting such a really, really nice, nice shave, mild shave. It's just the way it's engineered, the way the, the, the contours of the cap and the base plate meet together and are, have the blade cramped and clamped in place. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be used for a head shave. Did a nice job of getting up underneath the nostrils, probably about 85% of uh, clearing some away those little, clearing away some of those little bits there. Really nice blade feel, no harshness at all. Just some great, great feedback uh, to let you know that the blade is engaged, but it's very, very smooth. Wow. Okay, first pass done. Let's rinse. Well, a day and a half worth of um, beard growth, and I would say I'm 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 on the cusp of being socially acceptable. It is a uh, it is a razor that is on the mild side, which I prefer and like, and it uh, it allows you to have that classic uh, safety razor approach to your shave, which is a nice, efficient, smooth, comfortable, mild razor with a very, very sharp blade. And that's exactly what we have here. We have this really, really nice, nice, smooth, comfortable uh, razor that tends towards the mild end, but we're putting in, we're using a feather blade, the sharpest of the sharps out, the sharpest of the sharp blades out there. And we are, we're getting an absolutely wonderful shave without any kind of, uh, uh, no trepidation at all because as you know, a feather blade, uh, people, people, I mean, the, the, the reputation of the feather blade precedes itself. A lot of people look at it and say, wow, feather, those are really, really sharp. 
but they're very, very smooth. They're very, very comfortable. Yeah, but they are sharp. But this razor, um, if you want to look at it this way, tames that, that feather blade and brings out that smoothness while retaining the sharpness without any kind of harshness at all. Really, really terrific. I mean, the, uh, the aggression level on this is minimal, but the efficiency is very, very high. Okay, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Let's look at that, um, let's look at that uh, razor head there. Yeah, my other channels are doing a fairly good job. Now, I took a lot of swipes there, but the lather channels are moving that lather out of the way. Here, let's do just two, like maybe two swipes here. Yeah, and you can see, yeah, you can see you're getting, you're getting some good blade exposure there. I'm feeling it all the way through, is what I'm saying. I'm still feeling the blade right there. And you can see here's a better example right there of how the lather has moved out of the way. So there's plenty of blade exposure uh, there to uh, allow you to continue your shave. So you, it, it appears you're not going to have to rinse too often in between uh, shaving swaths. But I am, I am, uh, I, I, I feel the blade, it's making contact with the skin, even though I've taken maybe three or four swipes. It's still, the blade is still there in contact, shaving away. The other thing here is also that, um, that first pass was very, very good. So a lot of the beard has been knocked down. So that's coming into play here as well. Yeah. Now, again, I've got rather close up underneath the nostrils and the end tabs of the razor blade did not get in the way at all. And I looked at it just now, you know, specifically to see how close that was. They were not getting in the way at all. And, uh, you know, you could do a little touch up here and not have to worry about catching your earlobe too much. Makes for a very, very maneuverable razor head. Absolutely. Second pass done. Let's rinse. The shave is done. Uh, I would say right now I am in upper darn fine share. I'm in upper darn fine shave territory. Approaching BBS. Don't try to find the BBS if the BBS find you. But we're going to do a third pass because I could probably do a little bit of touch up here and here. But I want to do a third pass for two reasons. Number one, I want to show you how much shave soap, shave lather. So I want to show how much lather from the shave soap I have. And I also want to do a third pass because I'm enjoying this shave so much that, that uh, a third pass will just be uh, icing on the cake because... The shave has been so smooth and comfortable and enjoyable, and that's the key. There are sometimes when I do a, a say a two pass shave with a razor that has a little more growl, ah, uh, you know what? Uh, maybe I won't do a, a third pass. Uh, but with this razor, wow! Uh, I mean, a third pass is going to be just as comfortable as the first and second pass, and I don't think it's going to lead to any undue irritation, anything like that. So we're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. I love doing a third pass. 
and I want to see how this razor performs going against the grain south to north. It just has a great feel in the hand. I'm holding it as I, as I would a pencil, and it just has a great feel. The heft on this razor is wonderful. The weight of the razor is doing all the work, and this razor head just skates across the face. It really is wonderful. All right, pass number three, south to north against the grain. Oh, that's marvelous because I can feel it cleaning up here and there. That's terrific. Got the chin very, very well, so I'm not going to worry about that. Upper lip is done. I can go against the grain on the corners of my mouth with no tugging or pulling. Boy, that's, that's terrific. That really is really, really wonderful. Third pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, that's terrific. All I have to do is one cold water rinse and the shave will be complete. And uh, what a nice result. This is definitely on my, definitely on its way to being BBS. Wonderful. All right, so I'm going to do a cold water rinse here. And uh, we'll wrap this shave up. All right, here's my cold water rinse. What a refreshing, wonderful shave. Absolutely fantastic. The Bay Rum just hit the spot. This razor is really, really wonderful. It really is terrific. All right, uh, clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Post-shave feel of the shave soap is such that I can run out the door right now if I wanted to. This is a BBS shave. This is an absolute wonderful BBS shave. Terrific. Absolutely terrific. Let's see what kind of feedback we get from the uh, Allen Block. This is the solid Allen Block from uh, Phoenix Shaving with the no slip grip and the dry dock system. So here we go. Running under some cold water. That is smooth as ice. I have some nice bracing. And maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a little, I mean, it's, I don't even know if I can call it a zing. I think it's the bracing. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, the no slip grip <laughs> slipped off again. That's because of that rounded edge there. Okay. We'll worry about that later. All right, here's the dry dock. I'm going to set that in there like that. And I'll set the no-slip grip aside. And we'll worry about all that later. And we'll let the air in the room do the rest of the work. Let me show you the, uh, the bowl here and what I have in the way of uh, shave soap. Look at that. That's, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have a lot left here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, 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 rich, creamy, yogurty lather. Check that out. Absolutely marvelous. Look at that. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Look at that. Just. And if you want to thicken it up a little more agitation, you can thicken it up a little bit or however you want to do it. Yeah, just an absolutely fantastic, fantastic shave soap. Wonderful, wonderful uh, shave soap base, the 21st century shave soap base. Absolutely fantastic. Let me get my uh, fine accoutrements bay rum here, aftershave, and that's all I'm going to use. I'm not going to use anything upstairs because it's so warm right now. 
uh, maybe a little later on, is what I'm saying. So there it is right there. And these bottles are great. Hang on to these bottles. When they go empty, don't throw them away. You can repurpose them with more bay rum from fine accoutrements or your favorite aftershave, that sort of thing. They really are terrific bottles. Okay, I'm going to loot like that. I'm going to let that air out a little bit like that. And now, there is some moisturizing there. So I'm going to put a little bit upstairs like that. Great, great shave. Wow, this razor is an absolute winner. It is fantastic. Uh, it's a fantastic design. It has wonderful heft, good balance. This um, open comb here, that is really, really nice. That is a very, very different open comb from uh, a lot of other traditional open comb razors. But whatever they've done here, they have uh, done an absolutely uh, stellar job in uh, creating an open comb guard that really maintains a, a nice, mild quality, yet keeps the efficiency there. And it was just an absolutely wonderful, comfortable, smooth uh, shave. And I have to uh, emphasize smooth and comfortable, very, very comfortable. And again, that's a feather blade in there. Uh, you know, and like I say, a feather blade uh, can be uh, rather intimidating to uh, some wet shavers. It was to me <laughs> when I found out about them because wet shavers said, ooh, feather blade. You know what? In this razor, the feather blade is absolutely spectacular. It sings. Uh, the pairing of the feather blade and this razor, absolutely spot on. And again, that uh, that aligns with the formula of a good, efficient, comfortable, mild razor with a really, really sharp, sharp blade. And that's what we have here. And it will deliver an absolutely wonderful shave for you. It did for me. I absolutely really just like this razor a lot. The other thing I want to mention is the knurling on the handle really, really provided a really nice, solid grip. And uh, yeah, they're really terrific. I mean, they're making it out of some really, really nice materials. The design is great. The alignment of the, of the blade uh, is uh, spot on. The balance and the alignment spot on. The end tabs did not get in the way. Very maneuverable. I love the tab and peg uh, alignment for base plate cap and blade. Absolutely fantastic. Really a terrific, terrific razor. We'll have links below uh, to both the Fine Accoutrements website where you can read up on this and purchase it if you'd like, and also to the Amazon product page where they also sell, where Fine Accoutrements also sells the DE5 Open Comb Safety Razor. My thanks to everyone at Fine Accoutrements for very kindly sending this razor to the channel and allowing me to share it with all the viewers. I really do appreciate it. It's a wonderful, wonderful razor. It's perfect for beginners and seasoned wet shavers are absolutely going to love this razor. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so I'm gonna give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit, I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.